Hey everyone, so welcome back to the next part of the solar kiln build series. I moved the platform over, the floor over to, to this location because it's gonna be the best spot to get the most sun. So I moved it over here and I got the floor all level. So then my next step here is to grab the walls and start putting the two walls up and then I'm gonna build the two side walls once I get these two walls standing. I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna bring the walls over, put them in place with some braces and then I'll start working on building the side walls. All right, so what I'm gonna try to do here, and hopefully it works, because <laughs> I've never done this before. Um, you can see I screwed some braces to the front of the kiln over here, and that is to keep the wall from sliding off as I pull it up. And I got a toe strap I, t I uh, hooked up to the top of the wall, and my goal is to pull and lift the wall up. And I was gonna try to do that just by pulling on it, but I'm gonna need to be able to nail the braces on once I get it up there. And I'm not gonna be able to hold the wall while I'm doing that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the backhoe, come over here and hook the toe strap up to the, uh, the backhoe and just lift the wall up with that. And then that will be able to hold it in place while I screw it in. So let's give it a shot, huh? See how it goes. <laughs> The reason I'm stopping is I'm noticing that you can obviously see the middle, uh, the uh, lower board there on the back wall is bending and it's going to snap. Uh, so I wasn't accounting for the fact that that one board's going to end up holding the weight of the whole wall. So what I'm going to do is add more braces on the very ends where the actual wall supports are. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then we'll try to lift it up. Let's give this a shot. Two hands are better than one. But a backhoe is better than two. All right, I have to say that went pretty well. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and nail this in. All right, so now we'll go ahead and we'll uh, put the front wall on. Nice thing is at least this front wall is manageable with one person.
front wall and the rear wall. And the rear wall is braced. The front one doesn't really need to be. It's only like two and a half feet tall. So it's, I can, uh, if I need to level that, I can easily just pull it one way or the other and it'll easily move around. So now I think the next step is gonna to be to start building the side walls. So that means we gotta start cutting some material. Okay, so now before I can get to building the side walls, I have to go ahead and cut all the dimensional lumber. So I just looked at the plans and I got the measurements. But one of the reasons why I put the front and rear wall on before building the side walls is I wanted to make sure that I was gonna have the exact dimension I need between the two front and rear wall. So this way now I can cut the lumber so the wall is exactly the length it needs to be this way. So I measured from here to here and in my plans I have five foot 11 inches and right now I have five foot 11 inches and a quarter. Um, so it's about a quarter of an inch off of what the plan is. So I'm gonna cut it to that distance instead so that's the way it fits nice and snug in between the front and the rear wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these boards up now and then get the this first side wall done. At this point now I have four walls up. I still have to do the top section of the side walls that's gonna support the roof. That's gonna be it for today. Really appreciate it if you hit the like button. It helps us out quite a bit. And if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. We're gonna be doing a lot more of this stuff. You'll get to see the rest of this build. So again, as usual, appreciate you watching. Take care and we'll see you on the next video.